Hey guys, gossip and reactions, Marie's take. Taraji P. Henson is breaking her silence. A lot of people are not going to like it, but somebody has to say something. This has been going on over and over. We've been hearing that white actors, actresses making more money than black actors, actresses. And like they have been cheating us over and over and something needs to be said. If not, they're going to keep on stepping on us. Taraji P. Henson breaks down over Hollywood pay disparity. This industry will steal your soul. That's what she said. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Taraji P. Henson has some hard truth to share during a recent appearance on Gail King's Sirius XM show via Variety. The Color Purple star was asked about rumors she might be quitting acting, which inspired the actress to offer up an emotional answer. I am just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, and getting paid a fraction of the cost. Henson said, I am tired of hearing my sisters say the same thing over and over. You get tired. I hear people go, you walk a lot. Well, I have too. The math ain't mathing. When you start walking a lot, you have a team. Big bills come with what we do. We don't do this alone. It's a whole team behind us. They have to get paid. Hmm. Hmm. Henson was joined by her Color Purple director, Blitz Bazawul, and co-star Daniel Books, who noted as Henson broke down the actual economics of the career. When you hear someone go such and such made $10 million that didn't make it to their account, Henson said, of the top, Uncle Sam is getting 50%. Now I have $5 million. Your team is getting 30% of what you grossed, not after what Uncle Sam took. Now do the math. I am only human. Every time I do something and break another glass ceiling, when it's time to renegotiate, I am the bottom again. Like I never did what I just did and I am tired. I am tired. It wears on you. What does that mean? What is that telling me? An emotional and nearly sobbing Henson then gestured to Brooks adding, if I can't fight for them coming up behind me, then what the F am I doing? The lauded actress then added, she still told that black actors and stories don't translate overseas. On our fuse, chestnut, I am tired here and off the my entire career, Henson said, 20 plus years in the game, and I hear the same thing, and I see what you do for another production, but when it's time to go to bat for us, they don't have enough money. And I am just supposed to smile and grin and bear it. Enough is enough. That's why I have other brands, because this industry, if you let it, it will steal your soul. I refuse to let that happen. That was strong. That was powerful, yeah. That was powerful. They said in the movie with, um, what's his name? Something Benjamin with Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt made $10 million. She only made $150,000. That's not fair. That's not right, yeah. So let me finish reading this so you can get the whole thing. It says, in 2016, Henson spoke out about pay disparities on David Fincher's The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, that's the movie, which she further elaborated on in 2019. Henson said at the time, she had to settle for a salary in the low six figures range, but in an interview with Variety, the actress revealed the shocking low number, $150,000, Henson said. The salary was a bump <clears throat> up from the original salary offer of $100,000. My goodness. A far cry from the half a million she was expecting, considering she was the third billed actress in a David Fincher studio movie. I want to make this very clear. I am not saying that Brad or 
Kate shouldn't have gotten what they got. Henson told Variety about the pay gap. They put a da 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 da, da in seats. So give them their money. They deserve it. I am not saying they shouldn't get what they are getting. I was just asking for a half a million. That's all. That's it. When I was doing Benjamin Button, I wasn't worth a million yet. My audience was still getting to know me. We thought we were asking for what was fair for me at the time. And you had every right to get half a million or three million dollars because you did fantastic in that movie. It is unfair. It's not right for us to not be paid for what we have been bringing to the table. But when think about it, guys, when you, in my perspective, in my opinion, when I watch a movie, if I don't see black people in there, to me, it doesn't relate to me. I don't get the joke. And I'm sorry if you find me whatever weird or whatever. This is how I have seen it. Like friends, the show they had, Matthew Perry just passed. May God rest his soul in peace. When I watch those guys, they could be funny to everybody else. But I don't see, I don't find a joke in it. If I am watching Chris Rock, um, Eddie Murphy. Oh God, what's this crazy guy? Um, oh gosh, so many other black comedians. When I watch them, I don't care if I'm from the Caribbean. I don't care if I'm not black American. The minute they say something, it resonates to me. I understand them. I understand where they come from. I understand the whole thing where they going with the joke. Where the joke come from. Chris Rock is a good one. Chris Tucker is another good one. Um, um, Eddie. Eddie something is a good one. I don't remember his full name. He, he doesn't make any kind of shows anymore, but I used to love watching him. Uh, what's the other guy? It's a little short one. He has perm hair in his head. Damn, why can't we remember this guy's name? Anyway, the list goes on when it comes to those comedians. Whatever they said is funny to me because I relate to what they're saying. But when it comes to only white cast making fun jokes, it's hard for me to understand half of what they're saying. I cannot relate to what they're saying. Okay? So again, when you have a movie with a black actress or actor in there, I feel like somebody represented me. I can see myself or my kids in that movie because some of us are there. But when you don't have or barely have us or you only have us as a, a butler to serve you drinks or to take the dog out, it's a total disrespect. Nowadays, we're living in 20-something, the 21st century. We should have black people acting as if they're on top of the world. We've had black president. Hello. We have a vice president that is black. Our world should go up. Not just being the maid uh, or serving drinks or taking care of the kids. No, come on. We need to up it up a little. Up it up a little. We, we, have, we have left that train where we only belong in a certain area in a movie. Okay? So, my sister, Taraji P. Henson, only $150,000. When Brad Pitt made $10 million, that is ridiculous. And that needs to be whew, talked about on the table. What's going on? Somebody needs to say something. It's not right. Anyhow, let's finish with the story. I don't want to make it too long. Okay. Henson had to settle for $150,000 for a role that would end up earning her an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress. The actress told Variety she expected there to be a pay negotiated negotiation. I am black. I am a black woman, so I knew it was going to be a fight. But the final offer, well below two hundred thousand, was a shock. I mean, wow. This is crazy, yeah. Uh, I kind of mumble a little bit at the end because it's it's shocking to me. We have one person making ten million while she made a hundred and fifty thousand, and after Uncle Sam get fifty thousand, 
and she did it to pay the group of the people that get her to where she's at 30 something thousand so she ended up with nothing and she got an oscar nomination come on yeah she did her thing and to not get not nearly half of what brad pitt made it's shocking it's ridiculous it's outrageous and it's not fair when are we going to get a break and it's not only in the movie industry it's everywhere yeah everywhere we go we've been paid less oh it's it's, it's disgusting seriously we need we need we need to be taken serious they don't care about our pain they don't care about us working hard not making enough money i mean the list goes on yeah subscribe it's disgusting thank you